Hello guys, it is me, Happy Sorokin. Welcome back to Last Center Survival. So we're gonna start off this video by opening up the sunken crate because I've gotten this key, so why not open it up? I'm also now above level 10, so we should be able to get propellers here. I do know that some people have gotten propellers even not reaching level 10 with Jake, but I do think after you hit level 10, you're chances of getting that propeller inside of the sun can create increase so who knows maybe we will be able to get it today maybe not because i do know that as soon as i've hit level 10 i've opened out one of those sun can crates live on a live stream and uh, i have gotten a propeller there so maybe this is gonna be our second propeller all i know is that i need like four extra propellers and uh Maybe like two air pumps or something and that's it. We're gonna be able to assemble our boat. So we're like this close to assembling our boat. <laughs> and I just realized that now. Okay, so we're gonna place this on my chopper and we will open it up a little bit later because now we're gonna go and clear the sewer location. But before we hop to the sewer location, I'd like to show you my progress with Jake and I'm kind of interested in myself, where are we? Okay, so we're gonna get this mining drill. I had forgotten about it, so I kept this mining drill over here so that we could get it together, me and you. So let's go and deliver like two last packages because today I've already delivered most of the packages. I just kept these two packages so that we could get that mining drill together. So here I'm gonna add a couple of these boxes and just as always, we're gonna add here these high valuable goods let's do like this let's put the insurance and let's start it and also i have gotten an atv transmission from the delivery terminal here i think i've gotten it by delivering like these simple boxes like these two skull boxes but yeah i've gotten an atv transmission that's so insane i can't really show that maybe i have a screenshot if i still have the screenshot boom i'm gonna throw it on the screen but yeah that was super unexpected of the camera i was just doing some deliveries and boom i've gotten that atv transmission so yes indeed it is totally possible to get that atv transmission and i've gotten so many screenshots of you guys getting that ATV transmission. So, congrats to all of you. And now we have gotten that mining drill, baby. Let's check it. Let's check it out. A device for extraction of titanium and other extra solid minerals. Damage 10, speed 1.3. So, wait, can you actually... Oh, you can't do it, but it says damage 10. I really hoped you could put it in your inventory and actually use it. I just realized that you couldn't see that behind the face cam, but yeah, it says like damage 10, speed 1.3, but we can't equip it. All I know is that we've gotten the drill and mwah, pretty sick. So, let's deliver one last package and soon we are gonna get our second sunken crate maybe we'll even be able to get it tomorrow next time my deliveries reset and another question uh, have you gotten any propellers in de during deliveries because i've gotten a comment i'm not really sure if i've gotten it only once or maybe a few comments but somebody told me that they have gotten a propeller from deliveries i'm not really sure if that's the case has any of you gotten a propeller during deliveries and here we go let's talk to jake and we are 35 percent so i do believe that probably tomorrow we'll be able to get one extra sun can crate key now i'm gonna drop this manual earth drill here in this crate just in case if i die inside of the sewers so now without any further ado let's hop down the sewers and i'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that i'll be able to get maybe a few propellers imagine if i get like two propellers or something is it possible i mean technically there's a chance that today we might assemble our boat like there's like a tiny tiny bitty bitty chance but it is possible that we could assemble the boat if i'm gonna get like Probably two pumps, and if I'm gonna get a propeller... Nah, there's no way if I... Or maybe there is a way, I don't know. Probably there's no way we can assemble it today, but again, a man can only hope. <laughs> maybe, maybe, who knows? Whatever, let's deal with that. Swamp bloater. Let's put the, the sleepity sleep. And it looks like the sewers here are all the time the, sa the same. Oh no, sometimes you can open up a crate here and sometimes you can't. Am I mistaken? Because I do believe that sometimes this place is going to have a crate that you could open up. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Okay, whatever, let's heal up a little bit. And I realize that these swamp loaders don't really do that much damage. They do only four damage, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, you can also fight. No, go there, I'm stupid. I started sneaking. You can hide here behind this door. At least it worked for me. So here we go. You can actually wall trick the merman from over here. Wait, I kinda left it, so I made a mistake. But uh, you can wall trick merman here on this door. I've checked that in the past and it actually works. Task completed. Not sure what task was that, but hey, we've completed another task. And here we go. The same swamp loader. You can actually aggro him close to this door. You can hide over here and just wall trick the swamp loader as it's not really that hard. At the same time, again, I wouldn't even suggest you probably wall tricking those swamp loaders as look at this. They only do like four damage, right? Is it even worth it? The extra hustle? I don't really think so, but probably fighting those mermans might be worth it. Okay, so we could already go here to the very top, but I'll go there a bit later. Again, I want to clear all the down floor, and then we're going to go to the very, very top. 
Okay, so I'm gonna heal up. Nothing useful here. Will I be able to sneak past the, the vents? Oh no, you can't really sneak past this vent. As these zombies uh, will spawn regardless. These stupid crawlers. Like, these crawlers legit deserve a massive spit in their face. Okay, so I'm gonna do some more damage over here. And could I hide behind the wall? Okay, so you can actually wall trick them over here. Oh no, you can't really wall trick both of them. But you, I think you can wall trick at least one of them. Is that guy damaging me? Oh no, he is damaging me. Doesn't matter, but I just saw these fl uh, swamp bloaters. They only four damage. Like, it's... It's seriously, it's kind of even sad to well trick them in my opinion, it's fine. I mean, when somebody does like 20 damage to you and when you have to fight like three zombies at the same time, then I think wall tricking is very useful, but for these guys, it's useless. So there's Merman, I don't really know how else we could fight him besides here. Maybe there is a way you could wall trick them, but you'll have to run to that goo and it just takes way too much time. So we're gonna fight him just like that. Whatever, I'm gonna wait until my toxic thing is gonna disappear. We're gonna loot this pile of garbage, and here we're gonna get another map. Those maps give actually pretty decent amount of points towards Jake. So there's no way we'll be able to open up the sunken crate key, but I think after we clear the entire sewers, we might get to like 50% from 35 to 50%. I think that's quite possible. Okay, so this ladder is collapsed as well. I'm gonna start sneaking. I'll open up the door. Because yeah, for those who didn't know, as soon as you start sneaking, you can open up the doors and your guy isn't gonna stand up, but he will stand up in Bunker Alpha. I try to say that in every video because I do know that there is lots of you who just joined the channel. So smash that subscribe button, smash the like button on the video to not miss future videos because I do my best to share all the tips that I know about the game. So yeah, your guy does stand up in Bunker Alpha if you try to sneak and open up the door, but if you're sneaking whilst opening up the door in the sewers, your guy isn't gonna stand up. Look at this, I'm gonna open up the door and my guy did not stand up. Can I, okay, so we can wall trick them probably over here from the door. Again, I said that it's kind of sad to wall trick those swamp loaders, but yet I still do that. Yet, I'm still trying to wall trick these swamp bloaters. I'm just trying to show that it's possible. Okay, so here we're gonna get another map. And there's one more room to open up. And here we're just gonna get nothing. Is it worth it to clear it? I think we could clear it. Whatever, let's just clear it. I'm gonna get a scythe. I'm gonna do some damage to swamp bloaters just to do extra damage. We'll deal with the toxic bomb. It wasn't toxic abomination, it was toxic spitter, my bad. And that's it, we've basically cleared the entire floor. And that's going to be the ladder. So I've had the same ladders couple of days ago so will i get again another event with that generator because in my opinion that's the most fun event that you can get here in the sewers and here i'm trying to use as many melee weapons as possible because i do know that lots of you are gonna try to clear the sewers and i think just spamming your guns isn't really that worth it so i'll try to use as many melee weapons as possible and yeah when you're going to the sewer location try to bring with you at least two sets of armors i brought with me one and a half hopefully that will be enough but yeah one set of armors isn't going to be enough can we sneak like this? Oh yes, we can definitely sneak. I'm gonna deal with this guy. I'll deal with this swamp zombie. Wait, I don't remember how do I how did I wall trick him last time? Okay, so I'll try to hide behind the door. Can I hide behind the door and wall trick him here? That should work. So this is how you fight with with Berserk. Okay, so you just wait until he's gonna start punching you, and as soon as he starts jumping, you start attacking him. Here you go. He jumps, you attack him, you hide back behind the door. And you hide back behind the door once again. As soon as he's gonna start punching you, he's gonna punch really fast. So there's no way you'll be able to wall trick him. So just wait until he'll jump once again. And this is how you wall trick. This is epic. So yeah, we came out with this strategy during the live stream. It's pretty cool. Because yeah, I think it's actually worth it to, to wall trick the Berserker. Because look at this, he does like 20 damage and he punches really, really fast. And really, really strong. So it's worth it to wall trick Berserker. Now, let's open up the crate and please tell me a propeller or something. I've never gotten a propeller here. I've never gotten... Nah. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a propeller! Why not, man? Why not? You're ruining it, man. You're ruining it. But this is seriously... <laughs> this, this sewer location is ruining it. It's ruining it my hype, mate. Whatever, let's go now higher. Yeah, we're gonna start from this ladder. Let's go from basically from the second ladder. Okay, so both of these doors are going to be locked just as usual. Let's open up this door. Oh wow, they didn't even see me. So over here, you could actually hide behind the wall as it's gonna be worth it to separate some of these zombies if that's gonna work even. So you separated lots of zombies. As you can see, we've separated basically most of them. They don't do any damage. You can go out a little bit and maybe you can damage some of them. I'm not really sure if all of them are damaging you or only one of them is damaging you, but they are still doing less damage. So yeah, this other guy wasn't damaging me at all. So yeah, hiding behind that wall 
helped a little bit, even though we didn't really wall trick them, but at least we separated those enemies with that wall. Oh, wow, almost died, almost died. I'm so glad that I checked on my health. I'm so glad that I checked on my health. I could have lost everything. Woo! <laughs> my entire life flashed in front of my eyes. Okay, so let's deal with another fast rider. These fast riders are kind of painful. They do like 12 damage, mate. They do 12 damage. They do more damage than those swamp bloaters here. We're gonna get more glass. Again, I have enough glass. We have enough fiberglass. So that's not big of a deal. Okay, so we need a gas mask. Oh, no, I don't have a gas mask. I brought a gas mask with me, but I don't know where is it. Okay, so for this room, I'll probably take a Glock. I brought with me a gas mask, but I panicked and I didn't see where is it. I panicked and didn't see where is it. I mean, for that room, I would suggest you just bring in a Glock and not bothering about anything. As he will do lots of damage. So you could probably wall trick them. You could pull out your gas mask. If you have pretty quick fingers, because yeah, there's the gas mask. I forgot where was it. So we could have equipped it and kind of fought them with melee weapons. Maybe wall trick them a little bit. But I don't really know how viable is that strategy as... I think it's just better to use your Glock. You're gonna save up more melee weapons and you're gonna save up your armor. And it's just easier. And I mean, everyone can just get a Glock from Bunker Alpha, right? If you can't clear Bunker Alpha, what's the point to go to the sewers? <laughs> Let's open up the doors. Okay, both of them are gonna attack me. So I think we can hide behind the wall to at least separate them. Okay, so I can start attacking them little by little from this side, correct? Uh, not yet. Maybe now, yes, we can attack this fast rider. And now we can kind of wall trick them at least little by little. Here we go, we're gonna deal with the fast rider and we could wall trick. Oh, floater bloater wasn't even damaging me. Okay, but we can still fight the floater bloater. As floater bloater, how much damage does it do? He does four damage, same as that swamp bloater again, doesn't really matter. No point to wall trick that schmuck. Okay, so let's go now further. Obviously we can't open up the door. Yeah, it's just locked. It's stuck. Could we deal with this guy? Okay, so yeah, this is just another swamp bloater. Okay, so there's this toxic spewer. For toxic spewer, use your glocks. Don't mess with him. Use your glock for toxic spewer and yeah, try to avoid him. As he will damage your armor. Here we go. I'm trying to avoid him. Oh no, that wasn't the toxic spewer who was spitting. That the guy who just jumped. Okay, whatever. But yeah, uh, kill probably the toxic spewer with your glock. Otherwise, he is going to melt your entire armor. Been there, done that. And it's not fun when he melts your armor. As in this place, you can't go back to the base and bring more armor. You have to do here everything with one shot. You have to come here prepared. So yeah, use your Glock here. I'm gonna sneak once again. I'll open up another door. Oh, so this is just uh, another Lurker. Lurkers don't do that much damage. So I'm gonna kill him with my Katana. And here we go, another box. Please tell me your propeller. Or a pump or whatever. Doesn't matter what. I'd love to get... I need pumps and propellers. I need pumps and propellers. And also from what I've seen is that you will require even more pumps after you unlock the boat or whatever. But yeah, we're gonna talk about that maybe later. And got nothing again, mate! Nothing! Just nothing. This is seriously disgusting. This is disgusting. Stupid and disgusting. Yikes. Yikes. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This is here. It just... It just sickens. I just... I'm sick to my stomach, mate. Can't even describe it. Can't even describe it, mate. There are people who are like, I get three items every time I clear the sewer location and I get like one item if I'm really lucky. And so far I've gotten zero. Well, whatever, let's go to another sewer location. Excuse me, not to the sewer location, but let's climb the ladder. I've never climbed this ladder. Has anyone climbed this ladder here yet? But yeah, let's climb the ladder over here. But yeah, some guys are gonna spawn out of the vents. Let's deal with them. Because after I climb down, I'll have to fight them regardless. So yeah, I do know that it's better to probably go to the top and leave those items that we have here. But honestly, I've got nothing, so I don't care about it. We're just gonna go up there. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> Let's keep my fingers crossed. Maybe this is even gonna be the event where you have to use your generator. Perhaps this is the event. Can I open up the door? Nope, locked from the other side. So probably we're gonna loop around and it will come here. So I do believe... Or maybe this is not the same event with the generator. We'll see. It feels like it is, but probably it's not. Okay, so here go another fast rider. Say your last words, schmuck. I would love to get one pump. As I said, if I don't get like three items here in the sewers, I'm fine with it. You know what? At least one. At least one. I'll be very happy if I get at least one, I think. So far, I've never gotten nothing, right? I usually, I would get something. But so far, it seems like a really bad sewer location. I've gotten only like two glass pieces, like only two. Two! And only three robbers. That's it. That's it. That's all the rare resources that I've gotten here. Like, that's just insane. Okay, so you can also fight uh, that Frenzy Giant. He's not that strong. But be careful, probably. If he's gonna stun you, those fast riders can kill you. But look at this. You can fight this Frenzy Giant just with your katana. And that's it. So yeah, I think he's gonna stun you when he screams. Or maybe he only screams once. Yeah, I think he only screams once. So yeah, doesn't matter. You could probably wall trick him. 
As I mean, 12 damage is kind of a lot of damage, but who cares? You already know that it's possible to wall trick him, and I just want to do that sewer location faster because I'm already disappointed that I've gotten nothing. Okay, so let's loot this. And here we're gonna get another map. There's a crate, I could probably take it with me, but I'm running out of space. For now, I'll take it, but after that, I'll delete it. I think it's useless to loot this room, so if you get the same event and you have to loot this room, I don't think you should be looting it, as here you're just gonna get lots of goop, like these uh, roaming zombies. Yeah, there's not a single chest, so yeah, I just opened it up just for the sake of education. There's nothing here, these are just toilets. So don't go there as it's useless. All right, I'm gonna bring one more probably melee weapon and let's deal with this fast rider and with one more fast rider. They're pretty easy when you have katanas, but I'm pretty certain you could clear this location with like a bit worse weapons, like pipes. You could definitely do that. You could clear this location with pipes. And I said that a million times, so I feel like a, I, it sounds like a broken leg record. <laughs> but if you don't know how to clear Bunker Alpha, because I already know that the biggest problem for those people who don't know how to clear a sewer location is that, hey, Sire, I can't clear Bunker Alpha. I don't know how to get guns. And my answer to that, just watch my free-to-play playlist. There I explain how to clear Bunker Alpha. As Bunker Alpha is your best friend, it's your bread and butter in this game. Okay, so here we're gonna deal with those toxic spitters. And uh, I think in this location it will be worth it. Yeah, this guy does 18 damage, so it's worth it to actually wall trick him. Okay, so there is my man, Floater Bloater. So I'll try to deal with Floater Bloater first of all. And then I'll fight with that Exploder. So this Exploder isn't going to explode. I'm going to already prepare my Glock. So you can wall trick the Exploder here if you don't want to really damage him with your Glock. But here you will require a Glock regardless as he's going to explode and there's not much you can do about it. And again, if wall trick doesn't work for you, just take some practice. Everyone has this wall trick ability. Everyone can wall trick. Here we go, he's gonna explode. And now we have to go and fight these parasites. And in the sewers, these exploders, as I said, will explode regardless. As in bunk in hard mode bunker, you can't expl you can't kill them before they explode. But here you can't kill them. They'll still have uh, they'll still have only one health, and that's it. Okay, so can I open up this door? I'm gonna sneak. Oh, there's another dude. Just a stupid floater bloater. Okay, we're gonna deal with that floater bloater. I'm going to open up this door, and probably that's going to be the last room where I'll get my rewards. Please tell me something nice, mate. Please tell me at least one pump. At least one pump. Oh, I couldn't fight them. So, can I wall trick them from here, perhaps? Okay, so... Yeah, it was kind of harder to wall trick these fast riders. As they're really fast. Well, at least I was able to separate one of those fast riders. He wasn't damaging me here, so that's something. That is something. Let's get that. And let's go, guys. Let's open up this last crate here. Please, a water pump. At least something. Please, last... Nothing! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> I can't believe it. This is disgusting. Soon everyone's gonna assemble that boat. And Sayak, when will you assemble your boat? Ha ha ha. I don't know when I will assemble my boat. As you can see, RNG isn't on my side. But at the same time, those who can't get anything from the sewers can at least relate to me as well. <laughs> as I don't get anything too. Okay, so let's go now to the tippity top. Let's go back to the base and let's open up that sunken box. Maybe there I'll be able to get at least one propeller and I'll be able to craft an engine. Because all I know is that I require one extra propeller, baby. But before that, let's talk to Jake. Are we at 50%? We were at 35 and now we are at 47, almost at 50. So yeah, I kind of almost guessed it. I almost guessed it. So now, just as always, I am going to empty my previous box. I really hope that someday we're gonna have more space in the base and I won't have to rely on that box over here. And for those who didn't know how to upgrade your racks, just go over here, click on the racks, and up the top there's gonna be this arrow. Click on the arrow and that's where you'll be able to upgrade it. That's how you upgrade all of your boxes too. Like your small boxes into trunks and then trunks into racks. You got the point. And then you'll be able to store more items because people keep questioning me, hey, Zach, how do you store 45 items in what chest so that's how i store 45 items there and here i can store 70 items so 70 is the maximum amount so maybe one day we'll grind enough of that swamp location and we will be able to store more items and i'll be able to spit on that acid box but i mean this chest isn't that bad raiders can't load it so it's really really worth it but now when we have more of these acid boxes like those sunken boxes excuse me it's kind of a hassle it takes like a couple of minutes to sort out your inventory to take out the goop from it but eh, it's just a small problem it's just a small, small problem. Whatever, let's drop the box inside of the acid bath. Okay, we will require three acid. Let's take it over here. And those who didn't know where to get acid from, you can get it from red crates inside of the bunker alpha. So it's pretty easy to get it. 
Here, I'm gonna get three acid thingies, and please, 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 a propeller. I'd love to get a propeller. I'd love to get a propeller. Please, please, please. Look at how beautiful it is. Just beautiful. It makes me want to run around this acid bath and scream <laughs> with joy. But whatever, let's skip it. Please, please, please. Yeah, baby! Yeah! At least something, baby. At least something. So again, I do suggest you, I don't care what anyone else says, but I suggest you to level up Jake to level 10 so that you unlock your propellers and this way you'll have a higher chance to get your propellers from the sunken crate. I have seen people getting their propellers before level 10. People get them at level nine. I've seen multiple people saying that they've gotten it at level nine, but probably wait to level 10 as this is my second propeller after I've hit level 10. So, hey, that's nice. And you know what that means, baby? You know what that means? We're gonna craft my first ever engine today. We are going to craft my first, first ever engine. Let's go over here. Let's drop this. And it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm, we can have lots of fiberglass. I can just go there and, and craft it. We have enough, probably, glass to craft it. But I, I require still three extra pumps and uh, one extra boat engine. This is so sick. Oh, and on the other hand, we can also recycle those titanium fragment pieces. So yeah, let's open this up here. And here I've already recycled four of those titanium fragment suit pieces. And I've got a zero titanium. Zero, baby! But we can go and recycle some more. Let's recycle those three extra goops. Now, let's get to crafting our boat engine. My first ever boat engine, baby. Let's get those three propellers. And where's the boat engine? Okay, so I require plastic. 10 engines, which we got a lot of them. Not big of a deal. Let's get stack of plastic. So what else do I need? Wrenches, 10 air filters, and 10 of that goop. Here we go. Let's get 10 air filters. Let's get 10 wrenches. And I just need stack of rubber parts. Please tell me I got them. Please tell me I got them. That might be... Oh, here we go. We got the rubber parts. Let's craft my first ever boat engine, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. And I did it. This is so cool. Look at this. Just look at this beauty boat engine. A powerful, energy-efficient motor to mount on your boat. Yes, let's go, baby. Let's put that engine inside of my boat. So all I need is just three extra propellers and two water pumps. So basically five rare items. And we are done with my boat, which is still a lot of stuff. Still lots of stuff to do. Okay, so here we go. Our boat, I think, looks better. It keeps looking better and better. So now, guys, welcome to Icewind Valley. I came here to give all of the items here to the truck. Everything that I have here, we have almost enough of those delicious rolls. I just don't have enough cupcakes, yeah. Uh, there's no way I'll be able to get enough cupcakes today, but probably after a couple of more days, I'll be able to assemble that truck. And from what I've heard, after you assemble the truck, you'll be able to start getting those odd keys, right? You'll be able to like get those uh, candy canes. But again, I'm not sure. I, these are just things that I've heard. I have no idea if we'll actually get them or not. Some people say that you'll start getting less items, but you do get some candy canes if from opening up those trucks. Not the trucks, but the chests here. So I'm not sure if that's the case. If people are just imagining things, or maybe that is actually the case. Who knows? Who cares? We'll be able to see that ourselves really, really soon. As I've heard lots of reports about the truck here, everyone seems to experience it differently. So who knows? Whatever. Let's deal with those deers. Oh, and after that, we're going to go to the Santa place because uh, I want to get extra 60 points. I have like those seven odd keys, so that's enough for the Santa. And also, we're going to auto clear this zone three extra times, so we're probably going to get even more odd keys. I wanted to bring melee weapons, but I've forgotten, so we have to clear this location with my Glocks right now. Even though it's kind of sad to waste my Glocks on it, but it is what it is. Oh, and at the same time, depending on when this video is going to come out, probably tomorrow we're going to get a new event with that, like, abandoned house, which is... It's not an abandoned house. It's, like, abandoned festival house, festive house. I don't know, whatever that is. But, yeah, we're going to get a new, a new event. And maybe during that event, we'll be able to get even more of those delicious rolls and more points. And also, we are probably going to get, like, those zombie ears and zombie fingers to send even more packages during week two. And maybe during week two, we'll get even better packages to send because as of right now, we can only send, like, those simple wooden boxes and toolboxes, which are kind of neat, but they don't give that many points, so I'd love to send a bit better boxes. Oh my goodness, I broke my one Glock. I didn't sign up for that. I didn't sign up here to waste my Glocks. I should have brought melee weapons. I legit should have brought my melee weapons. Okay, so here, let's loot last chest here. So yeah, people said that in these chests, you can get candy canes after you assemble a truck. Maybe that's the case. Again, don't take my word for it because I've seen some people going, Oh my god, Syke said this, Syke said that. Syke didn't say anything. I'm just saying what I've heard. I don't know if that's the truth or not. Uh, let's drop these delicious rolls. Let's drop the cupcakes. And that's it. So all I need is just a few more cupcakes. So now let's go. Let's auto clear this Icewind Valley. We've gotten one extra sugar cane. 
It's not a sugar cane, but you got the point. Candy cane. And zero candy canes this time. So I've gotten lots of cupcakes, but I still need like probably over a stack of them. Here you go, I've gotten 14 cupcakes. That's not enough to assemble the truck yet. I have 10 candy canes, so that's not enough to fight Klaus twice, but that's enough to fight him once. And that's good enough for me. <gasps> I should have brought my shards. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna bring the shards later. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it, guys. We're gonna open up this big present today. I think so. I think I should be able to open it up today. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're gonna do. But first of all, let's go and let's fight Klaus. I'm gonna try to use my... These things, correct? my flare guns because it seems like it'll be kind of cool let's just spam him with my flare guns and let's see how quickly i can kill that schmuck let's deal with one wave of zamzams okay we've got the second wave of zamzams have spawned and klaus has only 300 health that said he's almost dead so yeah for those who don't know hide behind the shelves and he's not gonna stun you because some people are like wait it's like why don't you get stunned when he scream because i'm hiding behind the shelves and here we go after. Oh no, even though I hid behind the shelves, we still might die. Heal schmuck! So you have to hide like perfectly behind the shelves because here it was like a weird angle. There was a box. And that's why I died. So here we go. Klaus, Sayonara. Thank you for these items. And I think we have lots of those points, those holly points. 4,000 holly points. So I think I'm gonna open up lots of and lots of those crates, then I'll get back to the base and I'll get my shards. Well, I'm back in this location with some more ornaments. And while this box is gonna come, let's actually get some more shards. Here we go, four extra shards. That's already almost enough, dude. That's already almost enough shards to open up that box. And I keep getting comments on daily basis from people like, hey, sorry, go to the gas station. There is a bike that you can get uh, by giving the lights. And yes, guys, thank you for saying this, but I do know that there is a bike in the gas station. And as I mentioned many times already, I don't care about that skin. We have so many skins in the game. Like they're adding like 10 skins every update or something. I don't really care about it. I want to open up the boxes, at least in my opinion even though it's not even that expensive so maybe by the end of this season i'll be able to get that bike there uh but as of right now it doesn't really matter i don't really care about it maybe i should go and get that bike because here you're just gonna get skins from what i know let's get it and uh please tell me something better than a skin we're gonna just get a teddy pattern skin teddy bike skin what is this i just got in a skin again maybe i should actually save those lights for the pattern then and then i should spend the skin here who knows and maybe then i should spend my shards on the skins here who knows who knows whatever here we're gonna get more goop i'm gonna get more candy cane so i'll probably spend most of my points until i'm like left with a thousand points or something and i think we already have enough candy canes to go and fight uh, one extra klaus so let's put one extra klaus to sleepy sleep but before this let's open up more crates I'm gonna get rid of the beer. I'm gonna get rid of this goop and I'll take the box. It's kind of interesting because we've accumulated all those points through a couple of days. I've cleared like bunker alpha a few times. I've cleared the, the farm. Oh, here we're gonna get six uh, odd ornaments just like that. We also got in the doggo treats. All right. I think I'm just going to get rid of my old armor because it seems kind of useless. And now I can fit everything back into my inventory. And here we go. I think we can open up like almost 10 extra boxes. 10 extra boxes, baby. Okay, here we're gonna get more goop. Oh, wow. Let's open up one more box. And it looks like we can get another one of those big crates. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So here we're gonna get more candy canes. Dude, how many more Klauses are we, are we gonna fight today? We're gonna be able to kill multiple Klauses. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Another big one of those. Another big crate. Because usually here you get better rewards than in this small crate. Here we're gonna get more of those candy canes. Yikes. I mean, it's actually a good yikes. This is not like a bad kind of yikes. This is a good kind of yikes. <laughs> and another box, more candy canes. Another box, baby. We are gonna get nothing, no candy canes. I'm just gonna call them odd keys because I feel it's better. Here we go. Here we're gonna get an extra odd key. Inside of this box, we're gonna get zero odd keys. And inside of this box, we're gonna get nothing again. So yeah, this is probably gonna be the last box that I open up because I want to save at least thousand points for the week two. Who knows what's gonna happen in the week two? Maybe I'll require those points, so I'm gonna save them. But as of right now, let's go. Let's start fighting this Klaus. We have 26 keys, mate. We've got 26 keys, so we can fight Klaus four times now. That's going to be six. So I'm gonna try to speed run four Klauses now. Let's try to speed run four Klauses. Here go more shots with this thing. Here go Klaus is gonna scream very soon. I'm gonna get another one of my thingies. Let's deal with another wave of Zamzams. So here Klaus is gonna scream once again real soon. Let's hide over here. Let's deal with the wave of Zamzams. So this is my uh, basically second Klaus, but kind of first Klaus. 
first of the many classes that we'll do today. And we've gotten lots of light bulbs, so I'm just gonna get all the buffs here, whatever. Whatever buff they'll give me, I'll accept them. Pine logs, more pine logs, you get more XP, more copper, you get more pine logs. You get more experience, and you get more experience. So here we go, this is going to be my second Klaus out of the bunch of Klauses. You got the point what I'm trying to say. Basically my third Klaus, but this is the second Klaus. <laughs> Psych, I have no idea what you're talking about! And I don't have any more Glocks left, I only have these Flare Guns, so I'll have to fight those Klauses with Flare Guns now, huh? Here we go, another Klaus dead. Let's get two extra Flare Guns and two extra Klauses. Oh yeah, because we're gonna get so many rewards. I mean, let's take them all already. Each class gives you 60 points, gives you 60 points. That's it, basically this is the last wave of zombies. And this is my third class, my fourth class, but this is third class. Why did I have to overcomplicate things? It's just fourth class, that's it. This is fourth class of the day. That's all we need to know. And let's go fight with our last class of the day, my fifth class. Let's hide here, here I don't have any more armor. And the last wave of zombies is going to spawn, so I'm gonna try to take it a bit more careful as I don't want to die. Which again, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, these are just simple schmucks. These are just stupid minions, huh? Guess I'm gonna hide behind this wall over here. I'm gonna die, kill the last fast biter. And that's it now. A couple of last shots towards Klaus and we are done. Here we go, he's gonna scream. And I'll do like probably three or four shots should be enough. Here we go, he's dead. Give me your last rewards. Let's take everything and let's get even more rewards. So we are now at level 49. And you know what? Let's open up one of those crates that we've just gotten Christmas savior packs. And inside of this Christmas savior pack, are we gonna get a skin? Nope, skins. Zero skins so far. Last time I've gotten really lucky to get that big backpack during season 12, like that delivery backpack, but I've gotten nothing now. Okay, so we have 20 extra bulbs that I could open up, so let's get them. We're just getting goop. More holly, more pine logs, okay. Maybe I'll even start saving my colorful lights, who knows, like, they're really easy to save, like, saving 20 of each colorful lights is pretty easy, so I'll probably do this, and then I'll keep exchanging them for the shards. So once again, guys, we've put the Klaus to sleep, and you can go to sleep yourself by getting this epic go-to-sleep mug. There's also an epic go-to-sleep shirt or go-to-sleep hoodie, so if you're interested in supporting this channel, you can check out Cyric merch. Link is down in the description. So I highly suggest you checking out this No Man's Sky video, or click on the second card you'll go to my the long dark let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep